Have you heard about Trello and Notion? These two powerhouse tools have been gaining a ton of popularity lately in the world of project management. Let's start with Trello, the OG that's been around since 2011. Trello really shook things up when it first came on the scene, pioneering the common style workflow that so many other tools have since adopted. It makes managing projects super visual and flexible. I mean, who doesn't love dragging those colorful cards around, right? But then there's the new kid on the block, Notion. Even though it just burst onto the scene recently, it's already making waves with its sleek, all-in-one workspace. Millions of people are switching over to Notion for its flexibility and neatly organized databases. So which one is right for you? Let's start by really digging into what Notion and Trello bring to the table. We'll check out what they're really good at, where they might fall a bit short, the cool stuff they come packed with, how much they cost. So let's talk money first. You can get in for free, but if you're looking for the fancy stuff, it kicks off at around eight bucks per person each month. Oh, and check this out. On Captera, it's racking up a solid 4.7 out of five in the ratings. Not too shabby, huh? Notion started out as just a note-taking app, but it has come a long way since then. Nowadays, it calls itself an all-in-one workspace, where teams can bring everything together in one place, instead of using multiple tools. A big reason why Notion got so popular is how flexible it is. Like Trello, Notion has Kanban boards, but that's only one of countless ways you can visually organize things in Notion. The possibilities are almost endless. You can make a wiki, plan roadmaps, take meeting notes, publish a blog, and way more. Of course, having so many powerful features means a steep learning curve. New users might feel overwhelmed by all the menus and options at first. You'll need to set aside time up front to really learn how to use it. But for the right needs, it's likely worth the effort. So why might you prefer Notion over Trello? Notion is more flexible and customizable than Trello with way more features. Notion can replace multiple tools, project management, wiki, database, all in one. Some people find Notion's interface to be more modern and slick. It solves lots of problems and can be the single source of info for a company. You need a guru to set it up and run it well, but it can be worth it to have all tasks and information in one place. Now let's talk about Trello. Pricing. The basic version is free. More advanced features start at $5 per user per month. Rating on Captera, 4.5 out of 5 stars. The big appeal of Trello is how simple it is to use. While Notion tries to do everything at once, wikis, issue tracking, databases, and more, Trello focuses on project management and optimizes for that one task. Along with its famous Kanban boards, Trello now has new ways to visually organize tasks like dashboard, timeline, table, calendar, and map views. But you need a paid premium plan to access those extra views. Overall, Trello doesn't have nearly as many features as Notion, but it makes up for that by being more user-friendly. Trello really plays up the simplicity as a key selling point, making it super easy for anyone to get started and quickly be productive. While Trello continues to evolve, the core product has changed little over time. To some people, the interface might look a bit dated compared to Notion's. But sticking to what users love about it has earned Trello the loyalty of thousands of customers. Why you might prefer Trello over Notion. Trello focuses just on project management rather than trying to do too many things. Trello is easier and faster to get started with. The initial setup takes minutes and requires minimal config. Trello has fewer features and options than Notion making it simpler for teams to learn. Trello offers more integrations and power-ups compared to Notion. So when you compare Notion and Trello, which one is better? Well, 
there's no clear winner here. Both tools are popular for good reasons. The best choice really depends on your specific needs and preferences. Notion can be great if you're not scared off by a more complex interface and want a really powerful and flexible tool to bring everything together in one place. On the flip side, Trello may be the better pick if you just want a simple, user-friendly project management system without all the extra bells and whistles. Now, if you want the simplicity of Trello along with the flexibility of Notion, let me know if you have any other questions. I'm happy to chat more about the pros and cons of these tools and help think through which one makes the most sense for your work.